Hello, everybody. We are the team of Fusos. I'm Yaldna Yaltrik, and with my friends Esher Kron and Burhan Kaplan, we will present you our project. Let's begin with the term of nanosatellite. Nanosatellite is usually applied to the name of an artificial satellite with a wetness between 1 to 10 kg. Nanosat covers types of all satellites above. We designed our nanosatellite based on binary CubeSat standards. CubeSat is a type of miniaturized satellite with dimensions 10 cm cubic units and U denotes the number of cubes. CubeSat can be used for a variety of Earth observations, science, and research purposes. The differences between conventional satellites and CubeSats are mass, size, cost, functions, lifespan, and product process. CubeSats are extremely cheaper, smaller, and lighter than conventional ones. Despite all of this, CubeSats have a relatively short lifespan that allows for less risk management during the building and launch phases. A conventional satellite can do a lot of tests, but CubeSats does just a few of them. Nevertheless, in a team formation, a group of CubeSats can perform the same tests. Let's look at the CubeSats' main components. Onboard computer system manages all internal tests of CubeSats. Electrical power system is responsible for power management between subsystems and solar panels. Attitude determination and control system responsible for keep the satellite in dedicated orbit. Communication control system and antenna provides the communication between ground station and CubeSat. Payload varies from CubeSat to CubeSat and is designed for a specific purpose, such as radiation measurement or video transferring. Hi, I am Burhan Kapla. With the scope of project, we aim to design CubeSat that can work in low orbit conditions using conventional components. Cuts component selection is so important for our mission. We are researching a lot of successful CubeSat space applications that work with Cuts components. We attach great importance to Heritage for selecting components. That Heritage provides us reliable and cheaper system. We shaped our design in the light of this research. We have shown all subsystems which are designed for projects. Onboard computer will be command and other timing parts of supply. It also schedules and controls payload operation on the satellite. It acts as the heart and brain of the satellite for its survival in space of environment. Two arm based of the controller units are used to call the redundancy mode. All these devices are available for both MC as a hot redundant. Electronic power system consists of two units. One is the power generation and distribution units. The other is the battery units. This unit tries to maximize the power by using tracking from solar panel, and this is the best feature of the system. Power generation distribution units is also controls the power flow on the all systems. To get more reliable system, critical components such as regulators and switches are double for redundancy criteria. The battery unit is responsible for charging and discharging the battery. This unit shares the information related with the health of the battery. Hi, I'm Mishra. I'm going to continue presentation. S-Band system is generally used for high-speed communication for small satellites. In this design, we built a system which can be handled high-quality image and video transferring. This antenna is convenient for CubeSats when used with S-Band communication. Microstrip patch antenna becomes very popular day by day because of it is easy of analyze and fabrication, low cost, lightweight, easy to heat, and their attractive radiation characteristics. Radiation sensor is chosen as payload. It sends the radiation level which is above specific threshold and give result as the digital output. To maximize sensitivity and efficiency, we increase the number of pin diode in array form. Radiation pattern of lower orbit can be obtained by using the system. Finally, we have completed one unit CubeSat structure which is used as a generic modular satellite structure based upon the CubeSat standard. All of the subsystems are placed in a stack form and shown upper side. Final structure of one unit CubeSat, which is covered with commercial sonar panels, are shown in below side. We produced CubeSat frame, radiation sensor, and onboard computer prototypes. These test environments are shown above. We have special thanks for Dr. Din Jack Yukchen for his all supports. Thank you for listening.